Welcome to this screencast about Grand.org, a free virtual pipe organ simulator software available under an open source license for Linux, Windows and even Macintosh if you are willing to compile it yourself. First you will want to install the program and if you google Grand.org you will find it on SourceForge. There you go to the files and if you're using Linux you can choose either to add the repository or just grab the binary file and install them. If you're using Windows go to the latest build you can choose the correct architecture download and install it. Then you fire it up and you will likely be greeted by the audio and MIDI settings dialog but if not you can find it in the menu. In the audio output tab you can select the device and driver to use and you might have to try for yourself what works best on your system. You can highlight the device and hit the change button to get a list of available options on your system. And then you can also hit the properties and select the desired latency. In the options tab you will find settings like um, samples per buffer that will also affect latency. Here you can also set uh, the sample size and sample rate. Ideally these should match the audio files in the sample set you will use but you can lower the size if you want to reduce memory consumption. Also your audio device might not support all the sample rates. The interpolation for resampling can be chosen here. Polyphase generally gives better audio quality but is much more resource intense than linear. Use whatever works best for your hardware and your ears. Then you will need a sample set to actually be able to play anything. There are a few available on familyampalo.se-vpo-download and these you can download for free but there are other options on the net. When you open an organ you look for the organ file and then the samples will be loaded into memory. And this takes some time to complete but you can re reduce the time for future loads if you choose to create a cache. Remember that it will increase the disk usage on your hard drive though. When the set is loaded you should make sure that it is customized for your media equipment. And it's easy. Just right click on an element like the keyboards. Select listen for event and hit a key on the MIDI keyboard you wish to connect to this element and OK. Do so for all the elements you wish to configure and this can be done for most any element and you can now see that OK they are responding to the correct device and then you can choose temperament and some stops and you should be able to play and enjoy
thanks for watching.